So this year at CES, the RGB craze was in full swing. Two years ago, it was keyboards. Last year, it was motherboards. This year, if you could hold it down long enough to slap an LED on it, it was RGB. Memory, SSDs. I'm, someone's probably making RGB cables at this point. But the thing about the RGB craze is that it's very polarizing. Some people love it and some people hate it, which got me thinking, what if there was some way that we could tastefully improve RGB products so that nobody could dislike them? And then it came to me. More bling. If you haven't seen Nerd Sports yet, Check it out. All the episodes are available now for free over at youtube.com slash channel super fun. So for those of you who watched the intro and were wondering, what the hell is that thing? I've got the answer for you. It is the uh, uh, mechanical keyboard with LED backlight made in China. Though the manufacturer seems to be a little bit confused because this is clearly not a keyboard. What it actually is, is a set of keycaps for a mechanical keyboard. So we're gonna have to go to the Amazon page to get a little bit more detail here. Ah, here we go. Okay, so it's the E-Element PBT Double Shot Injection Keycap Set, and it's available in the gold I showed you already, or, and yes, we bought both of them, this flashy silver set. And I gotta say, I was pretty impressed. I mean, PBT double shot injection, these are good quality keycaps, at least on the surface. We haven't opened the box yet. And as long as you can get over the aesthetic for a full set, 25 bucks, that's a pretty good value. But of course, like fine wine, if you don't pair it with the right food, then you're just getting wasted in your sister's basement, complaining about whatever it is that's hard in your life. So we needed to find ourselves a keyboard, and this one from G-Skill looks like a pretty good fit. This is the KM570. It's got Cherry MX switches, in this case browns, because yeah, dog, we're going for brown switches. It's got RGB backlighting on each key individually, and you can customize the lighting effects and all of that stuff. Oh yeah, did I mention these keycaps do have windows, so they have uh, lighting pass-through for the letters. And finally, it features a completely bog standard layout, which is not great if you like something customized about your keyboard experience, like macro keys or like, uh, oh, I don't know, I can't think of too many things that I actually like changed about my keyboard. So if you really like short shifts or something like that, then it's not great for that, but it is good for being able to buy cheap, keycap replacement sets and have some hope of them actually fitting. Okay, so all that's left now then is to open one of these bad boys up. There's my knife. And uh, wait, we still have to choose which one, gold or silver. So you guys let me know in the comments below which one you want me to put on. Quick, you've got five seconds, go vote. Who, who are we kidding? There's no way to vote, this isn't live. All right, let's go ahead and uh, open up the gold one here. I realize I'm risking accidentally slashing our dbrand skinned gold background, but I don't think we've ever been tempted to use it before anyway, so I'm not gonna stress you. Oh wow, this would have been a lot better to um, keep in the plastic than I would have been able to, that would have been faster, yep. Everyone gets mad at me for cutting towards myself. You realize that, yes, I am under the knife, but the force is being applied in this direction. See, now I'm cutting towards myself. Totally different. Okay, so here we go. And we're done! You hear that sound? That's the sound of an upgraded keyboard. Now, there are a few things we still need. I overlooked that this keyboard does actually have four extra keys in the top right, but I had a brilliant idea. At least I think it was brilliant. I'm gonna grab the arrow keys from the silver one and add just a little bit more flair. So mute can be volume down 
That's right. Volume down can be left arrow, which is here. Oh man, yes. Volume up can be right arrow, which is here. No, which is here, yes. And memory, because this keyboard is programmable, can be this bad boy right here. Volume up, which I think I said before. Okay, so last two things we're gonna need then are a keyboard or a computer to plug this bad boy into and this cloth, which you'll be keeping next to your keyboard from now until forever if you want it to retain its gorgeous like new shine. Here we go, moment of truth time. Is it going to be beautiful? Oh, ho, ho. oh, ho. oh, it's awful. If that is not the world's most amazing keyboard, I really and truly do not know what is. Holy crap. Oh man, let's, 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 let's get it, uh, let's get it all dark and intimate in here. Oh, oh, okay, well now it's just completely dark, okay. How about that? How's that? Okay, so now we've got the software installed and we'll have some footage overlaid of all the different profiles you can do. You can do solid colors. Uh, they've got some different effects. There's like a raining effect, ripple effect, wave effect, all kinds of good stuff. And you know what the most amazing part of all of this is? All this, this can be yours for less than a hundred dollars. How long it'll last, that we don't know. Theoretically, double shot keycaps last pretty much forever. But what I noticed is that, well, what Luke noticed, he's actually our key, keycap expert, um, is that the thin foil coating over the top is actually not that durable. So it might not last for that long, but it'll look amazing in the meantime. Actually, Luke, come on over here. Thoughts? Perfect. Other, other than the scratches, I actually don't think that they could have made better looking keycaps. And the fact that they made it so the light comes through, impeccable. They're being completely sarcastic. Right? Yes, I actually hate it. Those are actually the worst looking keycaps I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay, Ed? They are amazing. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. Have we achieved our goal of making RGB less polarizing? No, no we have not. But we had an awful lot of fun doing it. So today we're talking about iFixit's latest and greatest pro tech toolkit. It's been completely reimagined. You've never seen tools like this before, but it's just as rugged and portable as before. You've got the new 64 bit driver kit, which is held in with magnets, which is amazing. And a bunch of other tools that are wider in variety and more durable than ever. Like these pry tools that are pretty much impossible to break. So whatever Whatever kind of project it is that you want to work on, iFixit's got you covered. You go over to their website, you look at their fantastic step-by-step -step guides, you head over to their store, you buy their tools, which have a lifetime guarantee, and you are pretty much set to start saving yourself money by fixing things yourself. And if you want to save a few bucks, all you got to do is head over to ifixit.com slash Linus and use code LTT at the checkout to save five bucks on your purchase of $10 or more. So thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, hit that button. If you liked it, hit the like button, get subscribed, maybe even consider checking out where to buy. I mean, you don't have to buy this. You could buy something else. The keyboard's really nice. <laughs> I don't know about the keycaps. That's, that's on you, but some people will like it. Uh, we've got that linked in the video description. You can buy it on Amazon. Also linked down there is uh, where you can buy cool shirts like the one that I'm wearing, as well as our community forum, which you should totally join. Now that you're done doing all those things, you should probably watch Luke's ultimate keycap replacement guide, where he goes through in much more detail how to find not just shiny gold ones for just standard layout keyboards, but all kinds of different types of keycaps to change your typing experience, as well as to uh, change the aesthetics of your keyboard in a way that you personally will find pleasing. Because I'll admit, this is not for everyone.